Welcome back to the channel guys, hope everyone's doing well. Happy Friday. Now as you can see, I'm in the car, I'm out mobile. Of late, Friday has become the sort of day when I head out with a node and see, you know, try different locations with Mesh Tastic to see, you know, if I can pick up some new stations. So today I've come to a place called High Beach. Those of you in the Essex, Hertfordshire area will know it pretty well. I used to come here, you know, way back when we used to do CB and stuff from up here because it's got quite a good takeoff. There's basically a car park, there's a little cafe, all this sort of stuff. You have car meets and things up here as well. But yeah, I've been wondering what this location would be like for a little while. So I grabbed my Heltec node in the Bender case. You might have seen this from the last video. These are amazing little cases that have got a built-in battery. Obviously you can access all the usual stuff like the USB port and they have an antenna connector on the side as well and even a power switch. So you can see here, it's just on the dashboard of my car and I'm picking up my station from 17 and a half kilometers away, which is pretty nuts. And it's registering a signal strength, which is kind of rare for that to happen. Um, I have got my Yagi pointed this direction um, from the home location. So that's obviously gonna help things. But yeah, anyway, let's dive into the node list on my phone so we can see what other stations we can pick up as well. So you can see here, there's my node at the top, Andy's YouTube experiment. Um, we've got Chesant 360, shout out to you. Um, you're 7.5 kilometers away. We've got Chesant South Link, looks like the same, probably the same location. Um, but yeah, seven and a half kilometers. We've got Mark in Chesant, shout out to you, mate. I've actually spoken to you um, on the on the direct messaging when I was in your area. Um, Turing Hill, which is a station that is on a hill, uh, funnily enough. Um, <laughs> Uh, we've got my my station here, Northwest Link, which is 17.6 kilometers away. We've got WC WGC Link E, um, which is my good mate Amir, and he's part of our mesh over in Hartford, Welling Garden City. Um, lots of other stations as well. We've got EC2Y, which is up a tower block in London. Um, and yeah, that's about it for now. So M7HVR, I'm just going to try sending him a direct message um, to see if he gets that from here. Um, it might be a stretch, you know. Um, but I could always put the node on top of the uh, on top of the car if we do struggle. It's actually delivered to somewhere, <laughs> whether it's going to get rooted on. Funnily enough, he's just sent a message on Longfast. Good morning, London. So let's just come back up to my station here. I'm going to try and do a trace route on on my station and just see if we're getting direct from here or whether it's actually going through some other stations. Um, so it should take a second to come back. Yeah, Andy's YouTube experiment. So we're going straight direct. Um, which is pretty nuts. That's quite a long way. Um, I know some of you guys in the Discord have, have kind of um, <laughs> have kind of made you know nearly a hundred kilometres or, or even more. I think um, now, but this is quite a flat area. It's not like um, Wales or anywhere like that. Lewis is sending me a lot of photos, so I'm going to ping another station here, this Chesant South Link, and just see what what comes back on there. Um, so yeah, we're going direct to that as well. So this node is going to be kind of bridging quite a lot of area i would say if we look at the node list here we can see oh this kind of makes sense look so i'm out over here and then we've got the chesant station in the middle and then we've got um hartford over there so i'm actually going over the top of him but the interesting thing is from home which is my ho01 station i can't actually contact chesant directly because there's a hill in the way but over here you know, if we had a node over here, then we would because we'd be able to just basically use this one to relay. So it'd go, you know, from Hartford all the way over to this one here, Loughton, and then back to Chesant, which is kind of nuts. But anyway, if he's looking at his node list, suddenly he's going to see all these stations appear and they wouldn't normally be there. So that's going to be quite interesting <laughs> when he when he comes back. I might just send him a message, actually. Um, so you can see these are some of the other messages I sent before. Hi, Mark. Are you there? Right, so that's been delivered, um, but not delivered to him until you get kind of a tick with a person. So this is always a little bit flaky, this section here, um, where you get lots of acknowledgements back. Um, even though you've got good signal strength, you might find that it's not actually possible to, you know, get this kind of person with a tick saying that it's obviously, you know, um, been 100% delivered. I'd expect that to be delivered. Um, not because of the tick, because that can just mean any station has, has received that, you know, my message or my packet. Um, but, you know, just from the signal strengths, I would have thought he would have got that message. But it's difficult to say. You could try again and see if it's possible, you know, to get an ACK. It probably would be. Interesting. The, the, the weather conditions have completely changed now. So, yeah, look, it's completely 
completely and it's focusing on that not the actual loads of moisture in the air now i'm just going to send a message to this other one i don't think it's the same station um chesant 360 so i'm going to just send a message to him yeah and that's delivered straight away see that's quite a strong signal Interestingly, on the display here, we've got an unknown name at 22.2 kilometres away. Um, sometimes you'll find the nodes will do this on the screen. They'll say unknown name, but you won't see it in the, in the app. Um, and it takes a while for it to get that data. But interesting that. What I'm going to do now is break out the Yagi and we'll see if we can get any other stations at a further distance. So this is the power dial Yagi, it's the smaller one of the two. Can't remember the exact gain on this one. But um, yeah, anyway, it's got an SMA pigtail on there and I'm gonna um, just attach the bender to it. So I'm actually gonna point this towards London. Um, the London, you can't see it over there, but basically all these trees in the way, London skyline is visible from, you know, if you put a drone up like 15 meters, unfortunately I haven't got one here, but if you put it up, you know, a little bit, you'd see, you'd see all the sort of um, the city kind of skyline over there anyway everything is getting a tad wet but hey ho to line up beams what i usually do is i, I like to use like just google maps simple google maps app and you can actually see like can you see the actual um my point and as i'm moving from left to right you can see basically you can see the direction that you're pointing so you can see here i am actually pointing towards um the center of london now and now my home station is completely that way so I will turn it that way in a minute to see what the signal is like. But at the moment, we're facing towards London. Now, these Yagis are pretty amazing. Um, they're not completely directional, and you do have quite a wide beam width, and you will get signal off the back of the beam as well, um, which is probably what we're seeing here. Uh, but what I'm wondering is, can we ping um, EC2Y and see if we can get a, get a, um, get a bounce back from there? See, look, that's, that's basically going to my home station and then, and then round to the MQTT thing that I've got set up, private one, um, to London. So, so it's going around the houses completely, um, which is, yeah. Anyway, it's starting to rain now. Right, I've just spun it around completely. wonder how waterproof these cases are. You can see now I'm getting a very strong signal from my home station, which is 17 and a half kilometres away, um, at minus 107, which is definitely up on what it was before look at the signal strength on the Chesant ones now as well <laughs> extremely good this weather is really starting to get on my nerves I've just spun it around the other way completely now so it's just beaming straight across London hopefully across to the other side like south London um, kind of direction so we'll see what happens right so nothing else seen or heard in that direction obviously you've got to leave this for some time for it to actually kind of you know pick up nodes if they're broadcasting maybe like every 10-15 minutes broadcasting like their id and that sort of thing but but yeah anyway i'm going to call it a day for this one but yeah i'm so impressed how this is working out actually um i know it's just a hell tech with this antenna technically the case doesn't make obviously the signal any better but it does make things a lot easier having you know a proper case and a proper box for the um enclosure for the device um this antenna seems to be working super well um you know compared to the yagi you might as well just not bother with the yagi unless you're really having trouble and there is no stations um you just just use something like this basically that would be that would get you get you some contact straight away unfortunately i didn't have any two-way messages today i know amir's at work and he might have just sent that one out just whilst he wasn't doing anything um so yeah i don't know but basically it is a friday afternoon middle of the day so you know people are probably at work and stuff like that sunday would be a much better day to do it anyway guys if you want one of these enclosures the link down below and um, be aware the the first like six or seven batches of these has been sold out now so you will have to wait a little while to get one of these but it's super worth it just so just get on the list and then they will turn up when they turn up chris is absolutely smashing um the 3d printing now and getting these things you know going out the door as fast as he can so so don't hassle him don't send him unnecessary emails let him get on with producing you know the best case that Mestastic has seen i think anyway also other exciting news um if you're struggling to get products um in the uk i know it has been a bit of a nightmare again my links down below i try and keep them updated with um you know the latest meshtastic um suppliers but anyway watch this space the plan is to bring you guys a complete store where you can get everything locally it's going to be exciting that's all i'm going to say catch you next time <laughs>